Are you looking for a summer camp for kids that's also a lot of fun? Well, there is still time. Joe Anderson from the Comedy Project is here with a look at their kids' comedy yeah. at camp, comedy camp. Yeah. Which I had never heard of this concept. What a great idea! Talk yeah. about this. How yeah, it's going to be this pretty work? fun. We so we've got a training center, which you know we've got classes for adults in right. improv comedy and sketch comedy writing and acting, and we knew we wanted to do something for kids. Right. And uh, we 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 were able to work everything out, get the curriculum all set, and get everything taken care of. And so yeah, we launched it. So the first one. Uh, today's really the last registration for the one that's this coming week. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's for grades five through eight. And then the week after that, August 5th through the 8th, is for uh, grades nine through 12. Okay. And, and, it's, and it's a week long, it's a, it's a yep. week, like a regular summer camp. Yes, but, like, no sleepovers, um, but, but uh, yeah. But they're going to be like little Rodney Dangerfields or something when they when they, when they graduate. It's pretty or when they're great. Done, yeah, right? they're going to get to they're going to get to try um, improv comedy. They're going to be writing their own comedy. They're going to be performing their own comedy. Okay. And then at the end of the week, they'll get to put a show on on the comedy project stage for nice. friends and family. Yeah, and. So and, and just so you know, like, yeah. you know, people wonder, you know, what made you want to do this? And right. is, it, is it going to be a success? And, and so even though we're just launching it, we mm -hmm. did, we scientifically, we did test this out. So um, we've got a video. Of this oh, yeah. is a, okay. This is a kid before he took the camp. Look at this okay. kid. Okay, this is before. Look he at that. The he's camp. so, he's angry. So he's not unfunny. Unhappy. And now look at this same kid yep, after. after taking just our kids camp. Look at that. See that kid. Look at that transformation. And results are going to vary. Um, you know, we're not going to see the same thing all the time, but yeah, pretty hard to believe, huh? Well, it, it, it's it's remarkable how you, the kid goes from you know just not into it to be suddenly being funny and happy and That's laughing right. and dancing and looking a little different. Yeah, and <laughs> taller. Yeah, <laughs> taller. Yeah, the kids might get taller. It's, it's a real the transformation. <laughs> yeah, and again, um, results may vary, but uh, that's. <laughs> When, exactly. when we saw that result, we were like, we got to do this camp. Well, yeah, that's remarkable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so is it, is it possible to teach? I mean, because kids say the darndest things anyway sometimes. Yeah. It, how, how, do you, how do you teach them? Do you, te do you, do you uh, teach them, like, timing of jokes or? Some of that, and some of know. it is making them just aware of, of what they did or said that was funny. And then you okay. start being able to, like, self curate what's funny you know and teaching them to like you know like I always say when it comes to doing comedy the only real difference between you know like everyone's funny right. right so the difference between someone you know who does comedy as their job and everyone else is that like when I see or say or hear something funny mm -hmm. I write it down gotcha and I say it again <laughs> exactly. you know? so, you, so you steal the joke no, well uh, I mean <laughs> you liberate no, it but no. you know what I mean uh, and so with kids it's the same thing yeah. and, and with our classes it, it's it's helping them realize what about something was funny or is worth talking about and then and then you know workshopping that and I'm also I'm sure it also helps their their self-confidence their self-esteem oh all yeah. those issues especially with kids those ages yeah there's you know, a there's through. a lot of like anger management stuff that's going on in schools right now where they're using improv right. to deal with that to you know as a tool for yeah, expressing yourself in a way that's yeah, not confrontational and not right. violent, of right. course. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be a, a riot. Awesome. Now, yeah. quickly talk about opinions are like potholes. Yeah, so yeah, um, so we have our, our show at the Comedy Project. We have shows Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But Friday and Saturday at eight o'clock every Friday and Saturday is a show called Opinions Are Like Potholes, <laughs> and uh, this makes me giggle. <laughs> it's so fun. It's a seventy-five minute show. It's a sketch comedy show. And uh, we've got, there's essentially like uh, Construction the Musical in there, right. which is uh, very funny. There's a, a scene called Beach Closed for Murder, um, oh, no. which has one of my best, one of my favorite wow. lines, which is, you know, everyone wants a beach body until you find one. Until you find uh, one, that's right. <laughs> uh, See, so, so, this yeah. is the kind of thing you're going to teach the kids. Well, we're going <laughs> to skew away from murder stuff. Well, yeah, okay. Well, th thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's always fun to have you for on. For sure. It's always great to be here.